next guest tonight is one of the most popular TV personalities in the UK. Please welcome the host of the Graham Norton Show, Graham Norton. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> yes. Bless you. Bless you. Very nice. Very nice. That's very kind of you. Graham Norton. Now, for the, <laughs> there might be some people out there who don't know your CV. Let me give them a quick rundown here. Host of the Graham Norton Show. Uh, some version of that. You're coming up on 20 years, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a long yeah. time. I got a radio Gray. show. You're a Eurovision Song Contest commentator. Mm -hmm. That must be challenging. <laughs> An advice columnist for The Telegraph. You're an author. You've got numerous BAFTAs. You're super famous uh, over in England. People seem to love you here as well. Instantly. Instantly. That's so easy. So easy. But you're a fantastic interviewer. What's it like for you to be on that side of, of the interview? Is this easy for you, or is this like, this feels absolutely wrong? This feels so wrong. This feels... This feels... Do you know, host should not speak on to host. This is like, it's like a meatless white bread sandwich. There's nothing here. There's, there's a celebrity <laughs> missing. There should be a celebrity. Maggie, come back. Sit come up here. Sit exactly. Let's cross your legs. We'll both talk to you. No, but when you're interviewing a guest, like, I, I assume the, the, the dread of any host is that the guest comes on and they give you one syllable answers and they don't talk at well, all. See, now, here's a tip for you, Stephen. What's that? <laughs> What I do is, one, we liquor them up. So, uh... Honest to God, do you get them... You get... We don't liquor them... Well, some... You offer your well, guests drinks? Yeah, well, I think... I think... That, yeah, I'm not, if you come out, if you come out, and there's a cocktail waiting for you, you immediately think, this might be a nice time. Uh, <laughs> water. Hello. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> Do we, do we have anything we can offer this good man? No? Not, e not, not even a cracker. Nothing. <laughs> just what do I just water. Here? What do I got? You want a Ricola? You want a Ricola? Like that? <laughs> there you go. Suck on Too that. Late. Now, uh, uh, but no, so I'm in favor of, of getting them drunk, in my <laughs> oh, opinion. Oh, that's it. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Wow. That, that can go wrong. Yes. <laughs> there's, like, there's a cross between, like, crowd and mob. <laughs> have you ever had a guest... I mean, this must have occurred to you at times. You're like, I'm far more interesting than my guest. Why don't I just talk for the oh, next hour? Well, well no, you, you can't do that, though. I know. You, you absolutely can't. No. Because, and it's an odd thing because, you know, your name's in the title. It's, sure. You know, but once dreary old Graham Norton comes on, you've got to pretend to be interested in me for, you know, a few minutes. And that's a struggle, because you're thinking, I <laughs> can do the all. monologue again. No, uh, not at all, not at all. I, it's easy for me to pretend I like you. <laughs> that's why you're so good at this job. Thank you See, very I much. struggle, I you struggle. Do, but no, you have multiple people at a time yeah, on your couch. That. What's the benefit of that? Because I sometimes have two people out here at a time, mm -hmm. but sometimes they don't like each other, or they don't care about each other's projects or whatever like that. So how do you, how do you keep the ball in the air? Well, because it, what, what, the, the, the benefit is that if one of them is Mr. Monosyllabic, you oh, kind of go, you, you nap time for him, and then you, you move on, to, and you move on, and hopefully the other one's a chatty Cathy. Now, if you get two, yes. two nothing, then that is a real struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, because that, that's kind of worse than one bad guest. Having, <laughs> having multiple bad guests is, that's, yeah. But happily, that yes. rarely happens, because Somebody senses weakness on the couch. And, <laughs> and all guests, I think most actors, most musicians, most writers, they have a, a wanting to be liked, course, a wanting yeah. to show off gene. And that gene is strong within them. Right. And, and if someone isn't talking, they think, I'll talk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my moment. All this light <laughs> just for me? <laughs> yeah. uh, you're not the most political, but do you guys talk about Trump over there? Well, all? you know, word of your political situation has reached us. Um, <laughs> uh, Cross the pond. Yeah. Cross the pond. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, we, you know, to put it under international news. Uh, um, uh -huh. And uh, we get it. And we do do... I mean, why not do... I mean, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, making fun of him. So, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so you know, all these useless comedy writers are now like, I can do these jokes. Yes, exactly. Uh, because he writes them yes. for you. The fish happens <laughs> to be uh, the greatest democracy in the world, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, yeah. and you're shooting him with a gun, but he's got a bomb. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's worrisome. Um, the other thing that 
and maybe people can explain, is we're all aware that his, you know, his approval ratings are rock bottom. Terrible. Really, never, never, really, never been worse. Yeah. But why aren't they zero? That's what I, I, like, who, who are those people? Who are they? Because I get the, I get that you were a fan of The Apprentice. You mm -hmm. thought, oh, he's straight talking. He's got to shake things up. But at this point, yeah. who is going? No, no, he's doing a good job. Yeah, who, yeah. Like, and that's a third I think of it's the a, country. I think a it's a country. sunk cost. Like people have already invested so much in him that they're just going to ride the bomb all the way down. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you, uh, Good you luck, have, everyone. <laughs> you have other talents other than uh, talking. You also have the talent of writing. Being quiet. Okay, you have, yes. uh, you have several books. The newest is your first novel called Holding, which is available now. It's, yeah, it's been published in America, which I have to say I'm so kind of flattered and thrilled by. It's my first novel. I didn't know what people were going to make of it. It got very well received at home, so now it's here. And it's... It's not anything, if you have seen the chapter or anything, it's nothing like that. It's not kind of brash and loud or anything. It's a very gentle little story about Ireland. Um, it's where a, you it's grew a, up. You where grew I grew up. up. So Ireland. it's a refuge. If, if the world is frightening you right now, yes. and who wouldn't be frightened, no. uh, take a few hours off and dip into that book. Because, it, it, I mean, there's a murder in it, so... <laughs> Not everyone comes out alive, yeah, but, sure, sure. But, but most people do, yes. and certainly you will, on, you know, unless you fall asleep with it on your face and suffocate in the night. But, uh, but the chances of that book yeah. killing you are really slim. Is it appropriate for a talk show host to have a book, for instance, Stephen Colbert's <laughs> Midnight Confessions? Is it appropriate? <laughs> Is, shouldn't they... Now, see, shouldn't at they, home, at yes. home, I couldn't do that. You couldn't do that? At home... You can't sell your own stuff on, on air? On the British Broadcasting Corporation, if I brought that book out, yes. someone would come out and wrestle me to the ground and I would be fired. That I would watch. <laughs> well, the book is called Holding. The man is Graham Norton. Both are available now. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.